Okay, is my head is in there? Okay. So there is a lot of ugly, ugly stuff that I, I recycle. But uh, at the end, even the, the gift, the gift paper, the, you, you wrap the gift, could be an invisible little extra touch for your collage that could be just beautiful. Okay, I always start, I always start with the light type of paper, which normally is a rice paper, gift wrapping paper, or um, fancy, very expensive, uh, I would say Japanese uh, something that you pay $12 for, <laughs> for a piece. But um, at the end of the day, when I'm finished with my watercolor experiment or whatever I'm doing, I never throw the, again away the colors, get a big brush, and go on top of uh, papers. So you can paint your own? At the end of the day, in the palette, whatever you have left. Now, the paint is very important that it has to be acrylic. In the meantime, that I'm talking, I want to start blowing, otherwise we, we stay here for the final block. Okay, now, uh, I, I do, but I talk, I tell you all the story about these papers. So, this is the glue that I do myself. What is this glue is all about? Maybe we can read it. Do you know something that is called medium, acrylic medium? Yes. yes. Because yes. everybody's working with acry acrylic medium. So this glue that I'm putting on my canvas, for one third of this glue is acrylic medium glossy. One third is an acrylic medium matte. One third is distilled water. I, I tried in the past to use regular tap water. You can do it. But I realized the creates and the surface of the glue or whatever is some strange uh, colors because I don't know the reason why they probably were drinking all those germs. <laughs> <laughs> and I figure out why the tap water with the filters and everything is ruining my glue and my gesso of my day. So I prefer, if possible. For the regular washing your brushes, doesn't matter. It's the same water it works beautiful. Just to rinse it, whatever. And I use uh, some soaps, better neutral soap, for my brush and then dip in the water. Now, this is thin paper that I'm gluing here. And since the paper is very thin. What is your base material, a board or a paper, the white background? The base. The base? Yeah. This is canvas. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Just just so regular canvas that you can start watercoloring or acrylic, you can do just canvas. Yes. And uh, we wait this to dry. Just a few seconds. In the meantime, I want to show you some ideas on what you can possibly uh, paint on it. This is matte board that you use for met your artwork, met board that the framer use it to put around your artwork. Met board, but met board is not the best. It's not my favorite, certain. What you, my favorite of all is, really, this type of canvas works good. You see it? Yes. It's, 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 a, it's a canvas board. What is called? Okay, whatever it's called, canvas. This is one of my favorite. Okay, another of my favorite of all is actually is this board. This wood comes from any art company, and sometimes they call clay board, sometimes they call um, wood boards, wooden boards. Masonite works good very well if you just it. 
So you can have a, just meso knife from Home Depot and uh, paint some gesso and do your collage on it. It will work. But these boards, I like it because they have some rim, and you say, no, some side, they are deep. So they look very good on a wall. It's, you, I don't put hanging on this board. Just a couple of nails, a couple of, I don't know if I'm catching there. <laughs> couple of nails, and they stay perfectly. And uh, normally I paint the side. The color you paint the side is up to you. If you have major reds, colors, you use the red. I prefer my black. Like you see at this miniature here, I use black because I just, I like to be uniform. Okay, now, illustration board will do it. This is a piece of something that I start, God knows what I had in mind uh, ten, 10 years ago, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> something? I said, oh, no, that already done. I know it doesn't work. I know. But this is a good, expensive part of the illustration board. And when it's heavy, it's beautiful for collage. Okay, so everybody has the formula of the glue, I guess. Now, I'm going to go again with some thin piece of paper. And this is something that, uh, I don't know, some, some writing is in here. Uh, there is no rules and regulation. How, where, or, you know, you just, uh, I'm using this for thin paper. I'm using Elmer's glue for the thicker paper, like the arches. <laughs> now, when you have the paper that you want to paint, the, you know, for collage, the best is actually the printmaking paper, Stonehenge. What? Print making, print making paper oh. is the best for collage. It's the very best. Why? Because <laughs> because absorb the colors very well, rips very well, and it's not the heavy like the arches. It's lighter in weight. It normally don't use more than 140 pounds. Wait. In other words, that's what you use to tear it up. Exactly. Exactly what I use to tear up. But if you want to know the best of the best of the papers, I'm waiting that this dries two seconds before I put another piece, okay? The best of the best of the paper. This is good paper, it's canson. And everybody can look. I don't have my glasses, but say Scanson uh, acid free something. Michael, Michael Kraft Show has Scanson. And this is just perfect because it's not heavy. It's very easy to absorb the acrylic color. Again, acrylic only because if you use watercolor, the moment you use the, the glue, all the colors from your watercolor paper gives away and makes a mess, a complete mess. When, okay, this is a, this is simple papers, you know when they give you a gift inside the box, so there is always tissue paper? Yeah, there is a brand, the French brand is called silk paper, but it's tissue paper. Papyrus has it, and any more has it, this, this kind of papers. And uh, this is good. This is very good to put your color. It's acrylic, always acrylic. Always acrylic. Now, are we gonna go? I have here a heavier piece of paper. Probably this is arches. I feel it could be that for this. And the black, I have to be honest with you, is one of my favorite, favorite colors. Maybe probably it never happened that I forgot to put black in, in one of my compositions. So now this is a strange way to use the glue because this is a, one of these cheese kebab stuff. <laughs> and, I could, yes. and I could use brushes, but uh, I just, I have this love for doing this kind of rolling, but it's just kind of like that. Uh, the brush works beautiful too, but 
you, you experiment. Maybe you experiment the way you like it. You experiment any way you like it. Now, you know that the, the heavier is the paper, naturally, the longer it takes to put down and glue it. But, you know something I like to do, and maybe I'm doing it right now? I push the paper out of my field. I don't know if you see clearly there. I'm pushing the paper out because this way doesn't have to be everything inside my canvas. Something can be coming out a little bit. For some reason, I like this kind of more irregular border. I could keep it in, I can keep it out. And now this is arches. It takes a few seconds, always wait a few seconds, at least one minute or two before you do the next step. Now, take, do your collage, could be an hour or two or whatever, you see your time or whatever. But um, the idea is mm, that it has to be real dry before you touch up with uh, crayons, with uh, uh, whatever, paint, color pencils, uh, uh, acrylic oil, uh, water based. This is, a, oh, this is a China market, a lot of China market. They scribble and go, go crazy, go crazy. The more you go crazy, the better it's for your health. You let it out. <laughs> you know the philosophy? Let it out. <laughs> okay, so this is heavy. So heavy. Uh, I purchased one for, well, not for mistake, I purchased one of the say acid free, absolutely one of the special glue uh, conservation. Uh, uh, you can do oh God, the silk and the, doesn't make sense for, spend money for that glue. Because for the collage, at the end, the acrylic itself, and those colors will never fade away, these colors. This color will never fade away. They, in another 50 years, I'll not be around if somebody <laughs> complains. I don't care. <laughs> 50 years, talk to my grandchildren. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Fed away? You put it near the window? Uh, yeah. Okay. So this is the way I like it. But uh, any tissue paper, some tissue paper sometimes have some speckles or some beautiful letters. And they never, never throw away. The letters anyway, with your stamps, if you have alphabet and black, a black, a black, black, red, blue, any color. You know, this uh, pad, stamp pad. You go around on a tissue paper, mark, mark all these numbers, letters, uh, anything you like it. Because then someday, the little touch, the little cutting, the little initials, or whatever it is, it uh, may be a special touch for your collection. This is heavy. So, let's place it here. Okay, now, when it's heavy, when it's heavy, when it's heavy, I have at home all these stones, <laughs> pieces of rocks, pieces of granite, uh, a tile, an old tile. So, you know. But I didn't bring too many rocks and stones today because it's still silly. Seems silly. But in the meantime, I keep my hands for a few minutes here, and I keep on going. Okay, so this is Canson paper, it's beautiful, and everybody can come around and touch it around. All these papers. And uh, this is a beautiful paper, which I put in my notes that I su highly suggest if you go in a store, but even the catalogs, Chip Joy, all the, the other catalogs have it, is called Mulberry, M-U-L, Mulberry. I don't know how you pronounce it. Mulberry? Mulberry, Mulberry. M-U-L. Yeah, yeah. It's Mulberry. Mulberry. M-U-L, B-E, R R Y, I guess. Mulberry. You find these in any, any, even cheap, any catalog has it. 
because it's really, this, uh, the way it absorbs your acrylic and you can give different. What is it, what is it used for in the art store? What do they sell it for, for printing or for? People buy it for art activities, garnons, because the New York store, everybody knows the New York store, you know? Where the best supply in a tri-state is? No. You you don't know. Shame on you. <laughs> Where is it? Where is it? Okay. New York Art Supply Store is called Central Art Supply, 62 Third Avenue, Corner 11th Street. And I have the telephone number. <laughs> yeah, I can give it to you. Huh? If you behave, I can give it to you. We'll have a bus trip that, in, next year on that one. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> okay. It must have been right by it here. Oh, yeah. It's, it's, it, from Salmagundi. Yesterday I was in Salmagundi. Yeah, so we're ready. Two blocks. Uh, yeah, from Salmagundi, it's two blocks. Because it's uh, corner 11. It's Salmagundi. You go a little east. Okay. Now, next time. Yeah, San Magundi is a nice place. They have good shows. They have absolutely, they have the Catherine Laurel show. They have it. OK. Now, this, you try your paper. When it's thin enough, I use this mixture. One third, one third, one third. And uh, sometimes I, I touch the paper with this glue. Is sometimes okay. and, uh, and there is something that I really like it. They're just putting this red with the black. Do you ever use a brayer for a rolling pin? Ah, okay. Uh, deli paper, the one that you have the sandwich at the deli store. <laughs> it's a waxy side. You know which is the wax, is I wasn't doing now for one reason only, because this is a canvas. When you have a hard board, you know. But in a canvas, the canvas gives, so I'm using my hands. And never, never go for a nail of a thing before you do a collage. <laughs> don't, don't go. For manicure. Don't go for manicure, no. no. Pedicure, yeah. Manicure. <laughs> no, no. So this is good. This is very good. And when you have a masonite, too, or when you have a hard surface, or when you have illustration board, this works beautiful. This one at the braid. Okay. So this is the information. So the New York Art Supply. Okay, now. Couldn't you put down like um, a book or something, an old book, to to weight it down, to flatten things out? I all the times I do yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes I have old linoleum tiles. Oh, okay. I put the linoleum yeah. tile, uh -huh. and then I put books. Right. I put pieces of leftover from the construction, whatever you have there. Okay, now, let's hope that our paper cooperates with us. This is heavier. This is Arches 140. And again, you use your brush, makes more sense than the skewer, but that's okay. I like it. That's okay. uh, for some reason, I don't know why I like this. Okay. Now, I could put this some sort of, I have to make decisions. Matching here or going off in a little different way. Or here, or here. I would like to hear from you, the majority. Oh, no, no, no. Go up? Yeah. Going up? 
Yes, yeah, it's a decision. It's a decision. Are you going to leave the red showing? The red showing. Oh, yeah, the red showing. The red has to show. It's part actually with these colors. Okay. And that's so important when you color your paper that you have a big batch of uh, neutral. And the neutral are the most important because it doesn't matter what color you decide. If you go on a major color is your green, major color is uh, blue or is black, but those neutral. Do you plan your color scheme beforehand, pretty much? Uh, roughly, yes. Roughly. I'm not all the times following, but I put a little batch of color that looks like, you know, pale green with the black, neutral. Yeah. And for neutral, I don't know what everybody think about the neutral, but for me, neutral is a very, the lightest of the of white beige, uh, cream colors, light, light gray, and the, the lightest of the top. And the top is one of my favorite colors. Absolutely top. The top is beautiful. Now, this, this red doesn't want to stick very well, so, so I put more glue on top. Like I say, it's not, um, Collage is not the one, two, three type of art. You have to just wait that sticks. Can you paint on top of the gesso? The medium? The, the, the one you're using to, that you just put gesso on top there. Can you paint over that when it's dry? The gesso paper? That you just used it. You well, just, no, she, you she, just she, made she, on top she, of Oh, this is an acrylic color on top of my arches. Yeah. A piece that I was ripping apart. But you just put some down on the red there. The oh, yeah. The oh, yeah. You can do anything you want. And you can paint. May of fact, at the end of the collage, like I say, in two hours, probably an hour and a half, don't really dry completely. So you wait till it dries? Yeah, until it will dry. Tomorrow you can go crazy with all the crayons, the gesso, your extra marks. Uh, your extra, uh, I don't know, you take a toothbrush, take black gesso, give it a nice spray someplace. This is done, it's done time. Only with time and nothing else but time. But it will dry. We have faith. <laughs> okay, now I had this idea to put this purple, and I don't know why this purple could be. Okay. okay. I don't know. Maybe I go off, because I like this white to overlap the purple. I really, whatever, I like this kind of going. Now, what I want to do, this is lighter. Let's go with the black. Because the black is the one that dictate, dictate, tell me what I want to do next. I really need my black to decide. Okay, this black is paper that you buy again in the Art Supply New York City. And uh, it's thin enough for this mixture, one third, one third, one third. Thin enough. So you smear your paper, and uh, it doesn't matter where the glue goes at top and the bottom, because it doesn't ruin. All right. So I want to cover this corner with the black. See, when the paper when the paper is thin, it takes very half of the time that the arches so the printmaking paper and all the other type of papers. It takes half of the time. Almost immediately goes plop. That's good, but you need the heavy paper as well. I like I like my mixture at least. Okay. Isabella, do you ever use foam brushes for applying the glue? 
foam brushes? No, I never try foam brushes. But I use it to color my leftover chunks of uh, uh, miscarriage. Oh. Oh, miscarriage. <laughs> Is it work? <laughs> Is it work? <laughs> Is it miscarriage? Exist? <laughs> okay. Now. Yeah, no, I use it, but at the end, the play at the end is part, a very important part of your collage. Playing, yeah. Now, this will be, sometimes I cut my papers with the scissors. Sometimes I, I rip my papers with my hand. Uh, you can do whatever, whatever you like it. Doesn't really matter what you're doing. What's important is that at a certain point you figure out all your values. Means I put too much of this, I put not enough of that. Again, the stupid shit you, but it's okay. I have brushes, but I love this little way of putting the glue with this Yelmer's glue. Yeah. This doesn't need. Plus, at the end of any of my work, at the very end, two days after, three days after, when I get to, nice and dry, there is beautiful spray now, which are called varnish spray. One of my favorite is called desert varnish. I don't know where it comes from. I ordered from a dealer in New York City. They sent me six can. And, uh, Desert varnish works beautiful. But even uh, any company, like uh, the most famous acrylic, whatever, Golden or whatever, they do have their own varnish. Very expensive, I don't know the reason why, $18 for a jar. <laughs> yeah, ouch, at the end of the $200, you have just a few little things. I said, what the heck I spent $200 for? And that one's not water soluble. That desert varnish is not. No, once you put a, a good spray, you wait 15, 20 minutes, and you give it a second spray. Then you can throw a cup of coffee, you can throw that, it, you can wash it. OK. Is it a glossy varnish or a like a matte varnish? It's, it's called satin. Something in between. Satin. It gives you a nice, nice, but you know it's there. Against the light, you can see that there is varnish in your piece. You see. But uh, if you touch my little thingy there, they all have the spray. OK. So. OK, so we go with this one. And then we go with this one. Now, all oh, oh, this is daily paper. That is beautiful. And sometimes I even, in the meantime, I'm gluing these two pieces. I want you to pass around this two squares. Because, because, when I have guests, I give a free it's called, what you put under the glass to not to avoid the stain? Coaster. 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 That's a word. Coaster. Say it again. Coaster. 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 <laughs> Varnish three times for this, because I mean, it's gonna be a glass or bottles. So this is a uh, illustration board. Yeah. All this leftovers at the end of the day, <laughs> and these squares. <laughs> one is black and one is... <laughs> And they keep on gluing. <laughs> Coasters. Yeah, because the full course on a, on a collage, really the full course it should be a minimum of three days. Why three days? Because one day, one day is the day that you use your acrylic, and you prepare all your papers. And you start stamping tissue paper crazy. 
and you get calligraphy pen, Chinese ink, a splatter everything. <laughs> yes, <Yeah>, fun. <laughs> Actually, you're talking, pull out the frustrations, and people, some people ask me, I say, why are you always happy, you always smile, you're so friendly, the house is always open, Grand Central Station, my house, ring the doorbell, God knows who's coming for dinner, every weekend. But why? Because, because I, I know how to pull my frustration out, whatever, I don't like it, I, I have my way of doing it. I say, oh. I want to know too. I say, well, <laughs> you can always learn. <laughs> Keep the life on a light side. Nothing wrong with that. Can be too stiff, too serious, too intense. No. Can, doesn't work like that. You have to be a little bit, uh, huh? This is, doesn't want to blow up. Okay, so the, this coaster that is going around, <laughs> that's, that, that will take five minutes. It's just here to just burnish naturally, spray, spray, spray. Okay, so this per person, this, this piece does not to work, doesn't matter. This is the story of the Archie's paper, so beautiful, but a little fast. Now, this is a, one of these pieces of paper that I purchased, I fell in love, as all Chinese letter and, and red. Because it's thin, easy to glue. Always on 62nd, 3rd Avenue, <laughs> New York City. Once you, you get in that place, once you get in the place, you just, uh, you, you won't believe the amount of, uh, of selection and paper that they have it. Selection at the time, unbelievable. From the end made, even some paper that they have it, I, I didn't bring it, but some paper that they have it that is done, slices of exotic fruits, slices, I mean talking really slices, exotic fruit, like figure um, patient fruit. Uh, a kiwi or something, cut in an F millimeter slice, very thin and transparent. They weigh to dry. They do probably in uh, China, they do in Japan, they do in uh, Asia, many places, Taiwan. They do this type of papers. And uh, I just can imagine a collage putting some half a millimeter of beautiful fruits and then play around. To me, to me it's something mind boggling too beautiful. But anyway. Okay, now, on this piece of paper, I'm doing on purpose. My head is in the middle of trouble. Okay? I want to do this. I want to go on a side. Yes, I want. Okay. And there is no problem because you glue the glue outside goes right through the paper and just make it decollages. This one doesn't want to, <coughs> this one doesn't want to listen to me. No. No. This is an arch. Look at that. Doesn't want to glue. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. You have to fight fight all type of papers. <laughs> Fight it. Now you're putting glue on top. Yeah, because I know that this piece of paper, even if it's commercial, this one, the colors don't give away. But if this was watercolor, you could see that this resume, oh yeah, it will immediately. Watercolor is no, 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 no. No, no. Okay? And uh, this is printmaking paper, yeah, printmaking paper. This is my, one of my favorite color, which is, like I say, is it buff, it's neutral. Did you 
you paint that one or is that I paint it. Okay. I paint it. I paint it and I stamp and I stamp, I make my own stamps. Which if we had three hours I could talk about, but no we don't. <laughs> about how to do your own stamp, which is a very fun way of giving a special touch stamp. Do you, do you cut them? Yeah, I cut foam. I will talk to you if we have five minutes at the end. Oh, it's easy. I could do it. Easy to demonstrate how to do stamps. But like I say, three days is the minimum. Because one day is just you play with stamps, color the paper, make your craziness. And then, uh, okay. Now I have to decide where I want this one. Okay. Again, this can be here. And then little by little, like you see, we fill it up the whole film. If you go for a big uh, collage, um, I have to keep track with the time. What time could be? I'm, I'm late? A good half hour. I have a fair enough. Time to get the numbers to this uh, half hour. Yeah, I mean, okay, this was a thin piece of paper. That's why it's gluing beautifully. So when you are in a rush, you do use mostly, mostly tissue paper, a thin paper. Rice is beautiful. Japanese is magnificent. The Japanese section of this place is just magnificent. I guess you could use origami papers also. Absolutely, yeah. Absolutely origami paper. Now, these papers, these papers are just, just magnificent. And the summer commercial. Sometimes you develop uh, a love, doing collage, you develop a love for papers. Means just the, the feeling, the touching, just the pleasure of uh, looking on these things. Look at this one. And when you have something like this, and when you have something like this and you put it on black, we will do it. We will we'll use this things on black. <coughs> Salute. We will use this on, on, on this because. <coughs> okay, again. Dry. <laughs> at these papers, at these papers, when you paint it with the acrylic, just beautiful. Just beautiful. And I guess you could use paper napkins? Uh, yes, you have to be careful. Yeah, you can use paper napkins. I use a lot. You have to be careful they don't give the color doesn't give it away. Okay. Yeah, just test, test it before. Okay, so we have to just go fast because at this point. Do you ever use lace? Lace? Sure. Yeah. Absolutely. Not only, but I tell you one thing, on a on lace, uh, lace you can um, you can glue a chunk piece, a chunky lace, it cannot be too thin, too transparent. You glue your lace with uh, any glue. It could be Elmer's, it could be uh, medium gel. Medium gel works on anything. And the heavy gel, you can even put a piece of metal because the heavy gel is so, has such a grip, it's it, it called collage power, that you can put anything on top of your collage with the heavy gel. Gel, medium gel. Gel, medium gel. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. All the music things, you go in a whole bookstore, I just use anything you like. Actually, don't even be too careful. Look at this piece of paper. 
Look at this one. I mean, what I call yummy. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Your special store in New York. Mm. Always on 62nd, the third Avenue. <laughs> if you remember, if you don't remember, call me. <laughs> if you don't remember, you call me. 62nd, on third Avenue, corner 11. <sighs> okay. And the formula you should put down, this formula or this glue. Because the Elmer's is the Elmer's. That is to, easy to remember, yeah, you know. Easy to remember. So now I'm using whatever I have here. And I don't want to go to complicate it because, because, because. Okay. Some neutral. Some neutral, but some neutral. Okay. I don't know if you see my stamp here. Oh, I don't know. In the front. In the front. In the front. There you go. Yeah. But I don't know if it's visible, the marks. Are they there? That's the first day of collage, three day class. Is doing all your stamps and stamping. Okay. So I can do. Doesn't matter. Well, we save this precious for the very land. This is part of the, of the touches. Okay. Sometimes, you know, you have old prints. If you go, I don't know, flea market, I, may, I just love Lambertsville. Seems like the land of, uh, I don't know, what's it may believe, the land of. Uh, Alice in Wonderland, mm. whatever you want to call it. Flea markets there is. Ah, you find, you find believable, unbelievable stuff. Even on paper media. Do you have a gallery in Lambertville? No, no. I don't have a gallery. I, I have, let's say, I sell through website. I sell through friends. They introduce me a friends. Uh, a couple of architects that say that they are doing oh, new sure. homes. Uh, I, I don't have a gallery because even my address in my business card is a mailing address. Because going places, strange places, traveling to Europe, I was in Portugal, I'm in Italy. I really don't want somebody to ring the doorbell in my house and say, I came to see your gallery. <laughs> I don't have a gallery, I have a mess, I have a studio. <laughs> a mess that most of the time, myself, I feel lost. And I tell my husband, enough is enough. Now, don't disturb me next week, I'm only fixing a studio. But, but for day one. <laughs> I, I'm starting brand new, I know what the acrylic are, what the other doesn't work that way. After one week, I'm more confused than before. <laughs> so 80% of the time, I really give up. I say, well, whatever, if I by chance encounter my beautiful red, <laughs> whatever color, I lost it, that's okay, I lost it. And, and, well, I, okay. Now, now we have to decide. We have to decide what we want in here. This is tissue paper that I spray and smear. It just can be here. Tissue paper. Do you ever use commercial stamps? They have so many. I have stamps. a lot, but you know what I do. Like I say, we don't have time today. But the commercial stamp, I go to Michael, and I fell in love with something that is commercial. And um, I get heavy scissors and I cut apart. The stamp is cut all apart. And re Arrange. rearrange it, that's the word, rearrange it. 
in a different way. Commercial stamps. But in the meantime, this is dry. Uh, I want to show you. Oh, since it's, it's dry, <laughs> <laughs> doesn't work that way. Do you want me to hold it down? No, no, no it's okay. It, it, it has to. Okay, Michael. Yeah, you cut it. You this thin one you cut with your scissors, and you make all the shape you want. All the shapes you want. Okay, anything. This stuff comes from Michael. It's that they are commercial because it used to be a horse here for child. <laughs> the horse had the head cut off. Cut the horse head. Okay, and this is easy because Michael has these wooden blocks, but every house, a piece of trunk, Home Depot. This, how do I make my stamps? I really love to play with stuff. Okay, um, don't forget cheesecloth. Don't forget cheesecloth. Can be, can be absolutely magnificent. Again, something thin we can play with that. Okay, now, I have to go fast. No. You always like to cover everything with the canvas. Almost. Almost. But not everything. No. Almost. I would say... I would say I'll show you something. In the meantime, this is dry. Do you paint the canvas or gesso it before you start? If it is a, a, a board, a wooden board, yes, I do. A wooden board. If it is masonite, I do. Uh, illustration board, I don't. But like the canvas you've got there, would you have? Commercial comes the way it is. Okay. It was already. It's already been. Generated. It's already been. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And the glue works beautifully. Okay. Okay. This is something. I'm waiting. I show you this this way. Are those papers? Paper that I made it. And I, I play, like I said, the first day of the course, only making papers. And you make papers out of the old books, old papers, tissue papers, commercial paper, copy paper. How about wallpaper? Beautiful. Oh, you, you made all those. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. This is a small part. How do you make the gold paper? paper? How do you make yeah, the gold paper? The gold paper? Look at that one. With that design on it, how do you do that? This is a stencil, commercial stencil. It's so beautiful. Commercial stencil. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is acrylic gold, acrylic silver, acrylic uh, red, uh, acrylic. Yes, if somebody numbers. I had to show you because the possibilities. If somebody in Washington at the club, the art club, say, the ladies, the, the, the member of the club say, don't throw away this piece, frame it. I said, <laughs> this is meant to be ripped apart. Don't you dare. Do you see this piece? This was a five minutes mess of uh, whatever, silver, gold, stamp, stencil. Don't you dare, they told <laughs> Say that piece, but I want to see you frame it. Okay. You write with the gesso on, on uh, gesso with uh, uh, black gesso and rice paper. But this is an off-white rice paper. Black gesso and rice paper. 
Actually, I like this writing and we use it to finish it up. I could show you 200 more, but we don't have the time. So those books are papers that you might use. Exactly. So they're all. She's made them. They're all. But they're ready to use. They're not just to show us. Like you're. No. Gonna, you're going to use those. I'm going to use it. Right. Sometime, somewhere, someplace. Oh yes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Sometime, someplace, somewhere. When I color in the beginning, yeah. normally I use all the leftovers from some activities that along the day I was playing in, uh, let's say, doing acrylic, a composition or something. Yeah. At the end of the day, I see whatever colors are left, or happen that they're running out of certain colors. So that day I prepare the, the gray, the, 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 the tan, I need more red, and then the days for messing up, get my arches paper, get my tissue paper, just go, you know. Excuse me, besides black, um, would red be your favorite color to use in your collages? Because I see a lot of red in your work. Red? Yes. Absolutely, yes. A, a Absolutely, color. yes. Absolutely, the red is, and, uh, and sometimes, and sometimes I put together two, three different reds. Yeah. The Chinese red, purple, okay. The decision that will take more time on your side? Where? The decision is where I'm going to put this piece of paper. Okay, the decision is that it takes the longest time, other than glue. This is a lace paper. And I tell you, and the one with the holes. Why not? And uh, this type of uh, paper, even if it's commercial, is beautiful. But um, this type of paper, when it goes on top of a darker color, and you see through, it's just very nice. Very nice. OK? And I feel like I, I need something else here. Feel something neutral for some reason. I feel like I want to this neutral. Okay, just to put these two shapes together. But uh, I tell you, you follow your instinct. Doesn't matter what. Now, time is shorter. Look at this paper, it's how beautiful it is. This is a Okay. We have to just try to complete this piece somehow. And whoever is the person 
who have and the person that brings this home because it belongs to the winner. <laughs> and the winner he is. <laughs> uh, we all to the winner. But when us is staying in his home, um, please let it dry. And tomorrow after tomorrow, get all your charcoal, your brushes, your oil colors, your crayons, children's Crayola that work, and start touching up. Look at this. This is wood. This is actually wood. Like from the plant, they pull out. Comes from 62, <laughs> third <laughs> heaven. <laughs> 60, 60, corner 11th Street. Uh, Listen, could be in Nepal, but I mean, I don't, I don't guarantee you because I have 10 pieces, 15, 20, Nepal. Okay, wood. If, uh, yeah. Okay. Is wood. It's a natural fiber, nothing wrong with the plants. You don't know how many old books I have that, that um, actually, telephone books. Throw away a telephone book? No. I go hiking in the woods with the three telephone books on my back. And a bottle of wine. <laughs> but that is a secret, okay? <laughs> so what the heck, where are you going hiking? With the wine, it's a can't. So with the telephone book, where do you put the papers in between the pages? Or leaves? Yeah, if I find a flower or a plant or a brush or some something that really excites. Yes, yeah, has to be. But you have to be able to to really. Yeah, exactly, exactly. That's the word. Well, papers from wood, so that makes sense. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That that's the story of the collage is that takes and I, there is a limit uh, the limit that you can fly away with it. And again. You have to keep on turning your pieces of paper until you say this will work. There is no guarantee. There is no guarantee on nothing. Sometimes it doesn't work, but it's okay. We will give it a try. Okay, I like when the fuzz of the paper is getting into some solid Lighter color, like that. This is what I call real neutral. But the grays, uh, the grays are one of my favorite. At the top, just the top is the top is the one. The best. Okay, and uh, I tell you something interesting. Going, <laughs> going, Home Depot. <laughs> and you take one of these swatches of colors that they suggest. You know, you want to paint your bedroom and things. You know, yeah. and you present to the lady this. Uh, Swatch of colors. And it's too coy, it's so beautiful. Can I have a sample of that? They give you a good job for $3.50. Mm -hmm. 
Oh. We are golden, we charge just $16, so $18, <laughs> almost the same. To color the paper is perfect. To color the paper is just perfect. Home Depot. Yes. Okay. Uh, we they must say, here comes that crazy lady. She's painting her house again. <laughs> yeah. Hey, yeah, I went. I said, give me this beige. Give me this, 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 this. Oh, my child cannot decide. I like that. <laughs> give me. 350, 350, 350. I know, but it was a long way to paint my... Okay. Now, we are getting closer, but we are getting closer to our time too. So we have to kind of conclude something. Let's see what we can do. Mm. Oh, something interesting. If you go to Chinatown, if you go to Chinatown, you buy what they call money, China money. But they call money in China by its votive, it's not money. They burn it in front of the temple, the Buddhist temple, uh -huh. to have favors from your Buddha, from your gods, and you express your wish, your desire, your problem and you put in this gigantic container with the ashes and smoke, and this gets on fire. So it actually is for burning. So I decide I like it. This is, oh, this is, I test it around because it's too beautiful. Again, comes from Chinatown. But the inside of this piece of paper, once it's painted with the acrylic, it's so, it's so beautiful for collage because absorb is, maybe it's banana peel or something. God knows what it is. Yes, Chinatown. Voting. Okay. Chinatown, there's a lot of interesting things. Okay, now I'm going with tiny, tiny, small details just to give it in a dimension, cover some holes. All right. Now we get to the point to decide what we want to do with this. And uh, yes, I might need your suggestion because I want to put a chunk of this beautiful transparent stuff someplace. I need your suggestion. Could be? I would like the darker color to come through. I would like that. It so it cannot be any lighter part. It has to be any darker part. Could be any darker part. This is a beautiful stamp, by the way. This is a gesture. And I will show to you how beautiful it is in one second. But this is so transparent that you can go just like that, right on top. I love when it's easy because we have time. <laughs> we are running. OK? 
Okay, do you see what I'm doing? Mm-hmm. Why not? There is always something that we can consider interesting. Why not? <coughs> Practically. Um, I don't know how much more I want to do it. There are many colors and different type of reds. There is the wood and everything. There is silver. I really don't want to do too much. But this coming out is okay. It's part of the... <laughs> it's part of the... And uh, yeah, I guess... Um, is it done? Practically, practically it's done. Very good. Practically it's done.